Good morning, Clay Chalkful. This is Elise Quinn and Julia Petty with our first episode of Keeping Up with Clay Chalkful for the 2019-2020 school year. For our first episode, we wanted to feature some of the homecoming festivities from last week as well as what's been happening around the school. First up, we have a recap of last week's homecoming events, which include the Powder Puff Game, the Parade, and the crowning of the King and Queen. This year, Clay Chalkful hosted our annual homecoming with the theme of Disney. The week of homecoming has featured many events such as the yearly powder puff game, a homecoming parade, and our homecoming football game against Gardenville, which also revealed our school's king and queen. Last Thursday, the Cougar cheerleading team hosted a powder puff game featuring the sophomore and freshman girls against the juniors and seniors. After competing for nearly an hour, the juniors and seniors ended up finishing the game with a victory. During the game, the boys performed a hilarious and great halftime show featuring amazing dance choreography, which they learned by the cheerleaders. The next day, our school held our annual homecoming parade. Many school teams, functions, and clubs participated in the parade, throwing candy into the crowds of people as they celebrated for the upcoming Garden Dog game. Our band, cheerleaders, Dance Team and Color Guard did an exceptional job performing on the parade. The parade left everyone with excitement for tonight's game, which led to the big event later that night. Finally, the time has come to reveal who won Homecoming King and Queen of 2019. Before our Homecoming football game, our past Homecoming Queen, Amber Pilgrim, crowned the new King and Queen. The participants who came out victorious were Byron E. Tubbs and Devin Owens. Shortly after that event, the football game against Gardendale was quickly started. Both, as both football teams battled back and forth, Gardendale ended the game by barely defeating our Cougar football team by kicking a field goal with less than 1.9 seconds left. The homecoming for Clay this year was full of excitement and we can't wait to continue the rest of the year to witness what happens next. Next, we have a video showcasing the homecoming decorations. Good morning, Clay Chalkville. This is Bree from CCN TV. In our segment of Keeping Up with Clay Chalkville, we looked at all the homecoming decorations and sat down with some of our SGA officers to get their opinions. Hi, I'm Kendall Watts. I'm president of the SGA. And the reason we did Disney for homecoming week was because we thought it was a really good idea because everybody loves Disney and it's really cute. My name is Michael Campbell and I'm part of SGA. Um, we decided to decorate the halls Disney theme because we just want some fun and universal for everybody to enjoy. Hi, I'm McKenna. I'm the secretary of SGA and we picked the homecoming theme as Disney because of all the Disney movies that are coming out this year and there's just so much that you can do to get everybody involved in with it. Hi guys, I'm Byron, the SGA's treasurer and the Disney theme came from we wanted to implement something from the 1920s, but we knew that a lot of people probably weren't going to participate since the 1920s was a kind of boring time and we can't really relate to it. So we were just like, let's do Disney. And that's where it came from. It was a team effort. Hi, I'm Coach Rudak and this is my daughter. Hi, my name is Miss Dangerfield and this is my door from The Lion King and Hakuna Matata, a circle of life. Yeah. I'm Miss Bird. I'm Miss Baker. Ad design, in yes. business, say, web the rocket, carry the rocket. All right, I'm Miss Raspberry, and this is my door. Fred says to protect this house. Hello, my name is Miss Forte, and this is my door. My name is Miss Stoddard, and this is my door. 
Okay, I'm Miss Holmes, and this is my door for homecoming, and my kids were my inspirations for my door, and I just absolutely love them, so I wanted to spotlight them. I'm Miss Tucker, and this is my door. I'm Mrs. Owens, and this is my door. Hey, I'm Miss Gaines, Senior Class Sponsor. Um, very excited about homecoming doors. We've got Pinocchio here, and Tinkerbell and Peter Pan over here. Uh, senior Class has done a great job working on homecoming decorations over the last three weeks. Huge shout out to all the seniors who have stayed and worked. Um, doors look great. Happy Hoko 2019. This has been our segment on the decorations. Hope you enjoy it. Next, we went around to see how students feel about the first few weeks of school. Here's how it went. My name is Dimitri Dawson. Devin. Squares. We about to come with JQ. My name is Kim. My name is JQ. My name is Zach. Trinity Lavender. My name is Gracie Reeves. Oh, pretty good. Football going great. School going good. So it's straight. Good. Football going great. And yeah. I don't know. It's all right. I don't like. I don't like school. Uh, I've been doing pretty good. I got some good grades. So. Pretty good. I mean, it's been pretty fun, I guess. Um, I enjoy band a lot this year because we're going to do more stuff. Okay. None, for real, for real. Everything great. Uh, I came from a hard school, so I'm just glad to be here because everything great. The teachers teach. I play football. Coach Gilmore is the best coach in the state, in the country. So I ain't going to lie to you. It probably algebra. Algebra 2. Nah, for real. I don't even know. I don't like none of my classes though. They don't know. Nah, really. Hey, they all street, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Miss Gant, definitely. Yeah, my classes are easy. AP Lang, definitely. Each month, the faculty votes on students and teacher who have really stood out for their hard work. In this video, we congratulate the September Students and Teacher of the Month. Hey, Quick Shop. This is Gage Work from CCN TV. It's the end of the month, and we decided to recognize our September students and teachers of the month. Instead of interviewing them, we've talked to their peers and asked how these people have represented the principles and values of CCHS. Check it out. Um, the best thing about Tiffany is she's in a good mood like every single day, not just like one day of the week. Every day she's smiling and really happy and sweet. She's really fun to be around. She's always positive, and she's a great dancer. And I love having her on the team. Mm -hmm. Uh, Caesar's very deserving of the honor of student of the month. Uh, he's one of the hardest working kids on our baseball team. Uh, he also works extremely hard in the classroom, uh, which is reflected in his uh, excellent grades and GPA. And I'm just really proud that I get to uh, coach him in baseball. Gabby has been on Science Olympiad for three years now. So I've gotten to know her really well and I've also taught her in ninth grade. She's super smart, very thoughtful, and never meets a stranger. She is friends with everybody. Leroy is very deserving of the honor of Student of the Month. Um, he is a leader on our football team. He uh, leads by example. I'm sure he does the same thing in the classroom. Um, very honored to, to coach him. Um, and it's a really good thing when football players win Student of the Month. Congratulations to Coach Haney for being named Teacher of the Month. I can remember Coach Haney when he was back probably about three years old. Coach, you've come a long way. I'm proud of you. Now to highlight some students who participated in last week's dress up days.
finally, we have students and teachers showing us their secret talents. Make sure to pay attention because you'll be voting on the person who has the best talent. The link will be sent out in your homeroom today. Almighty God, we need you right now. Thank you for watching our first episode of Keeping Up with Clay Chockwell. Tune in next month for our Halloween episode.